and I'm going to sign back in as Ashley so we can make those changes uh, that Joe requested. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to go to open workbook. Now, again, my workbook is empty, which is, is, is confusing because I originally made the dashboard. But having said that, when a new republished the dashboard, he became the last person to change it. So he's he's now the owner. So again, I go to all workbooks, I find the uh, the top titles um, that a new published and I click on open and that opens that here. Now, what I want to do is I want to go to the sheet to add those additional fields that Joe requested. Now I can see that this automatically shows me all the extra fields that Anoop has added into the database. So I didn't need to go and reconnect to the data. Uh, I didn't need to define any extra connections. Um, all of this was done for me, which really allows me, uh, which really allows me to, uh, uh, to, to self-serve. Uh, what I can see though, is that there's some calculations which I think are possibly missing from the data. So what I'm going to do in the measures pane, I'm going to say, okay, I want to uh, create a calculated field and I'm going to create this field and I'm going to call it uh, inventory count. This is going to be a count of how many of each film we have in stock. And I'm going to make a count, make a distinct count, sorry, of the film inventory ID. I'm going to drag that into columns. So I have a count of how many inventory of each film we have. And finally, I'm actually going to look at the, uh, look at the payment amount. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to add the payment amount and I'm going to drop that into the field up here. So now I have these three columns, inventory, sorry, the rentals, the inventory and the payment, payment amount. So this is everything that, everything that was requested to the dashboard. I'm going to, uh, go back to go back to the dashboard view and I'm going to publish this back up to server. Again, the same dialogue box here that we've been through before. I'm just going to check that this is still showing the embedded password, which it is. And finally, now that I have uh, published that up, I'm going to uh, tell Joe that I've done that and let him look at the dashboard again. So Joe is going to log back onto Tableau Server. And yep, he can see the updated dashboard, top titles. Excellent. So this has now changed. So what, what's happened here is that, is that our, our business user has had a request for a new dashboard. Um, our analyst ha has has had trouble locating that data. So what we've been able to do is is um, uh, the database expert has been able to expose those fields in Tableau uh, and make those into a standard data source, uh, so that it makes it easier for the analyst to add additional fields to the dashboard. Um, and that's really given the uh, the business user what they need in terms of this dashboard, uh, this dashboard that has has these has these combined views. If I go back to our, our list of questions, we can have a look at uh, what we what we're going to look at next. Okay, the next is we're going to we're going to uh, we're going to collaborate uh, collaborate on a dashboard. 